viewers and subscribers welcome once again uh, my new screencast uh, it is not completely new screencast is the continuation of the my previous screencast uh, based on the uh, how can you uh, development dev uh, dev devops and also the continuous integration and continuous deployments what we did last screencast we already discussed a couple about the, all the, the the best practices for the DevOps cultures, like how can you start the your application developments. For us, uh, for this case, we 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 develop some one restful microservice applications, and then this application, how can you deploy? How can you build the application with the Maven and also the alternative possibility with Gradles and the, all the respective uh, testing. Uh, with uh, with the JUnit test, some part of the JUnit test, and also the part of the you know, REST API testing with the with the Postman's, and also how can we already discuss about the all the possible uh, deployment process with the standalone jar file based deployments and also the Docker Docker compose, compose based deployments, and now I'm continuing for the for the previous screencast with the how can you deploy the application same application uh, with the docker and kubernetes applications and after that uh, we will try to integrate the some monitoring tools your microservice monitoring tools with the with the actuator micrometer and Grafana and prometheus i already had some uh, tutorials uh, screencast about my into the my channels you can follow that one and get how can you uh, mm, integrate the uh, such a monitoring tools for your microservice application microservice based applications that i mean so today what we do what we try to do to 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 really most important part uh, for the uh, for the for the for the microservice uh, based uh, application with the uh, how can you prepare so how can you generate the uh, in documentations and generation of the uh, REST APIs. So that means it is the really, really important part. You need to be uh, understand, or you need to be have. You need to be do into the your, your professional careers. So that means in the nowadays there is all the application that is dependent on the many many microservices. Uh, as like if you think one of the PayPal or Google or or YouTube or maybe Facebook phases maybe this single page containing maybe maybe five or six or ten microservice call to build a single single page that means uh, yeah, there is a lot of microservices behind the scene that means this you you if you are as a as a microservice developer or as a backend developer or API developer then you are responsible to really properly build uh, the, your microservice documentation and generations that's really important part even uh, i'm working like 10 or 12 years in the industry then when i release uh, as as my microservices as uh, my rest apis and then i need to be prepare the documentations uh, not the uh, manually we need to automatically build the uh, documentations for for those microservices because if you think about your developments you develop microservices but uh, nobody knows is uh, how it is works how the input parameter how the output parameter how the request and how the response and how the how the the http status the request response status so that means uh, and then you need to be really properly documented as not manually you need to automatically generate the, these documentations then you put this uh, deploy you put this uh, your your rest service into the into the respective uh, uh, deployment environments like your development production test and release environments and then and the other developer like more more importantly the developer those who had no experience about the your your microservices how you implemented it then though they need really proper documentation that's why i said really really important to build your documentations automatically with the help of the available tools if you saw the picture like that we have a available tool like swagger 
what we are trying to do with the build uh, your REST API documentations and also the open APIs to, to integrate those tools to how can you automatically build uh, build your REST API documents uh, documentations because based on this documentation the web developer basically and um, web developer call your apis rest apis and build their web font and pages that means it is really important really important how the url how the input parameter how the output parameters and they can get really clear pictures if i if i if you go to these pictures like that way so you see i already have some some rest apis definitions and then really a systematic way how can make some uh, swagger ui uh, ui use and do the your uh, all complete definition about the rest apis and then so on so forth everything is perfect that is working then uh, we will show together and then you can give it to here the all the definitions like how the how the endpoints the how the base endpoints and how the, you, the api calls the all operations and you can simply put it some description account about you create about your replicate about your services or your endpoint calls and then in, input the input and output parameters if you go to these all the definition we will do together how can set this all systematic way and and then they can they can run it we can do it together that's i mean so applications already running so you can so try out this application exactly running so you see the all the record is properly so that means into the your development team in the if you are done the development you do some swagger ui test uh, in your rest apis and and you properly documented okay how the other other developer or your 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 our colleagues and other colleagues can communicate or your other rest clients api application can call the your apis and then build their build their web application or build their other or a microservice application based on your in, in based on your apis rest apis that's why it is really important to document it properly in the rest apis that's the really uh, that's i try to do that's i said this is the really professional way and all the enterprise application need really the uh, the proper documentation and proper document generations that's that that's i mean that's why it is important to get it and uh, to share with you and how can you start in professionally how can you use it how can you implement how can you configure it and how can you integrate those development into the into the your your your, your rest api double or api development doesn't matter is api for 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 soap apis or rest api or grpc apis doesn't matter but you need to be documented properly your rest api your apis so if i go back to the presentation that means we will we will implement we will start the implementation some microservices the the microservice will be the user registration microservices we will discuss together how can you start the microservice and how can configure the microservices and how can you deploy the microservice we will do continue the the next screencast so then let's finish the presentation part that means we will implement some microservices we will deploy the applications and microservice into different environment that i already discussed about last screencast those are in you just follow the previous screencast to get how can how can you deploy the application with the with the standalone jar file based deployments you can stand with docker docker compose based deployment and docker and kubernetes based deployment just follow that one and i will got the same rest apis how can you integrate uh, the, the 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 rest api documentation and generation that's the main idea for this screencast so if you see the pictures like that we will discuss about here uh, the our rest api that's we are continuing the user registration rest api documentation and generations will discuss every step how can you configure how can you how can you annotate the, with the spring boot applications how can you do as a professional way uh, to register to to generate and document your applications your rest apis so that means in every every rest apis if you document it properly like you have a REST API for documentation, REST API for invoice, or REST API for payments, or the other other cases. So that means you, if you properly documented the REST APIs, then 
this documentation you can uh, export and give it to the other developer or they can the developer mean testing team or our other other